What's happening, fam? LA all moving, still moving. Um, what Hillary and Trump represent? I, I thought I did this video before. I, I can't check. I don't remember. But I didn't even watch. Either, neither, neither did I watch the Republican or Democratic uh, convention. I don't care. And I'm going to tell you why. To me, Donald Trump represents the rebirth or the tantrum of the racist, uh, of racist white America. Because if he wins, it's the rebirth of the racist, right? If he loses, it's going to be all out tantrum bullshit. Why do I say that? Simple. People have lost their mind because of Barack Obama. And last thing you want to know is, you know, <laughs> give the country back to the races. Oh, thank you very much. We can't take it. That's what they want. Now, if they lose, you mean to tell me first the Negro wins and then the woman wins? <laughs> We're losing control to the world. The white supremacy is dying. It's, it's, you know, it's like the music industry. It's, it's, it's falling apart. You know, and Hillary represents in, in, in the ascension of, of women's power or in women, female empowerment, I guess. And at the same time, you know, Represents um, male nepotism, or, or you know, if she, if she wasn't Bill Clinton's wife, you know. So is that gonna a woman gonna start th rethinking? Maybe, maybe we should get married to these men because she get married to the right man. I mean, he's he's that type of dude. You can actually reap the benefits of of what happened. People can look at you like, hey. You gotta have some sense, cause you was married to this motherfucker. Uh, and I know it's a it, 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 it's true, and it's a bit of a stretch at the same time. I get that, but it has more truth than it than a stretch. So, but she also represents what I was saying about with the Trump thing. You know, the changing of the guards, because all of a sudden. It's just like it's, it's like the re-up of the civil rights movement. First, it was black rights. Civil rights was supposed to be for black people, and then and women um, rolled those coattails to get women's rights, and you know, thus the feminism and all the other stuff. So, it, America has seen this story play out before. So the question is, you know, which direction is the country going in? And I guess everybody's uneasy because right now when people are jockeying for position and jockeying for position. And to me, I mean, it's going to be what it's going to be. As a black man, shit, the country been racist ever since I was a baby, ever since I was born, before I was born, before my parents were born, before my grandparents were born, before my great grandparents were born, before their parents were born. If you was black, this country was full of shit ever since you've been, you know, whether you was here before and you got enslaved or they brought you over from Africa and you was enslaved, this country been full of shit. So it really doesn't matter, Democrat, Republican, black, white, I mean, I guess, and, and the current president, Obama, proved that. So it's like, eh, we're gonna get some bullshit either way. But, You know, it's a, it's a, it's a, this is a tipping point for, in my opinion, a tipping point for white supremacy because, you know, I think white men are, are going to lose their shit because if Hillary gets in, what if Hillary's a president for eight years? Then it's going to be like for 16 years, it hasn't been a white man as the face of this country. And at that point, people might start looking into a different direction because the last one was Bush and that was a fuck up. 
And you know, they look for Obama to write the ship. He 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 did write the ship as far as um, um, putting the country back on track fiscally to a degree. You know, it's, but if Hillary takes it to another, can can take that and go forward. Yeah, they know. No, it, it might be a. Uh, they're gonna have a president sign. You know, like like the reverse of rights. No white men allowed. You know, in the in the White House, right? That's I guess people's fear with Trump. You know, it's like okay. He represents the 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 the, the, the make America great again crowd who really have some delusional sense of how the world, not just. Uh, one particular group or race sees people like that because truth be told it's a lose-lose situation for America with Trump anyways the fact that Trump is the, the nominee is a lose a, a losing situation and the fact that when November hits and people start voting the amount of votes just, just the amount of people going to the polls that will vote for him you know you're gonna automatically assume that the bulk of these people are either racist or self-hating and uh, are accomplices to races. So when you see the numbers of 30, 40, 50, 60 million people, you know, voting for Trump, like, damn, it's that many of them like that I have? Fuck, it's like that because just like there's gonna be racist whites, they're gonna be self-hating blacks, they're gonna be self-hating Hispanics, they're gonna be self-hating Muslims, they're gonna be self-hating Asians, who gonna go along with the shit. And you know, people gonna start looking like, wait a minute, you know? And with Hillary, it's like, you know, common sense to say, you know, she's a better nominee than Trump. It's common sense to say that. I mean, you gotta put them, if those are your two options, politically speaking, she's the better option. You know, Trump's a businessman, not necessarily, you know, but at the same time, uh, the world also looks at them like they're both bullshit artists, which they both are, you know. So, do you think you're getting some, somebody real who's going to get something really done? Not necessarily, you, you're just getting the better... I would say Hillary is the better option, but she's not because she's less of a bullshit artist than more political bullshit artist than uh, public spectacle bullshit artist. So, you know. But either way, this is going to be hilarious because I can see I can see the way this shit is going now. That you know, people have to do a lot of self convincing. To, to get them to to believe the shit that's going on. Like they, I can see it, I can see it. And I've been there, you know, younger, dumber, uh, less uh, less mentally capable of thinking about things in, in the truth that they are. And I can, I can say now that, you know, not just racially, but Citizen wise, we all we got. Like, cause, yeah, man, this is gonna be some wild shit. Peace.